All right, guys, we are back to talking about New York, New York State, and the installed governor, uh, all about this Bitcoin mining ban. So anyway, the Bitcoin miners say the New York ban on crypto mining will be ineffective and isolate the state. Uh, the latest I heard as of, what are we at? I don't know, June 10th, 2022, is that the installed governor... Dear leader, Hochul has delayed making a decision on this uh, crypto mining ban for at least two years, which is ridiculous. They probably did some polling and realized that people are against any type of ban. But New York is one of the most uh, authoritarian, un-American states in the country. So I'm amazed they even worry about elections since they usually get the, the outcome they uh, pay for. Anyway, that's just my opinion. Uh, let's go. Miners feel that the uh, New York legislature's effort uh, to get Bitcoin miners out of their state will backfire in the long run as other states invite miners to help improve their energy grid. Even the dude, the douchebag that uh, actually came out with the ban bill in New York is pro-crypto, but it's all about the environment. So he's just gone from uh, crypto is good, crypto is king, crypto is the future to projecting virtue signaling that, oh, he's all about the environment. He doesn't give a crap about the environment. Come on, it's all about money and power and uh, perception that, oh, look at me, I care about the environment. Uh, have you guys been to New York? It's one of the most dirtiest cities and the state is just horrible, man. They have all those, what, love, isn't Love Canal? Wasn't that in New York where all the toxic chemicals were dumped and people were dying? And uh, New York, uh, what's that place? Niagara Falls is all polluted. It's just disgusting. I don't know, man. A lot of virtue signaling and uh, my fees and I care about the world and they live in one of the dirtiest, highest taxed, poorly run states in the country, if not the world. Oh, my God. I don't know. Just my perception. Uh, again, some some of the outer line areas in the countryside are nice. Uh, you get away from the cities and away from the government as much as possible. Uh, it's not bad. But again, you got these uh, nut jobs running the state into the ground. Let's see. Uh, two Bitcoin miners have told Cointelegraph that if the bill banning proof of work, pow, 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 I call it, mining, uh, that if the bill banning proof of work mining for two years in New York becomes law, um, oh my God, it, will, it would end up triggering an exodus of mining companies from the state and do little to address the intended goals of the moratorium. So I, I have the article wrong. Someone says she's going to delay, the installed governor is going to delay the decision for two years. It's a two-year moratorium. They delayed the initial decision to do more uh, investigating or whoever can pay them the most, you know, to buy them off, to vote the way accordingly. Whoever can pay them the most via the lobbyist will win. And that's just the way it works. Come on. It's an, how do you say it? Corruption is the level of mediocrity in the world, except that there's corruption, except that you can buy politicians for not even that much money. You know, a couple thousand bucks probably, and you get their vote. You know what I mean? Uh, especially in some smaller cities, smaller towns. Uh, it's, it's just corruption is normal. You just got to learn how to play the game. Uh, sure, there'd be nice if there was a perfect world, a utopia where everyone did the right thing and was upstanding citizens. But nope, politicians ruin it for everybody. And greed and power are the uh, human condition. Uh, yeah, so dropping some real, dropping some real uh, life uh, lessons here in this video. But this just makes me mad when they stop banning stuff. Uh, they just don't understand what they're doing. And I, I, they're just doing it for money. Because uh, these miners are probably, you know, like I said in another video, squatting on some prime real estate that other people wanted that are Bubba's there. And they called their Bubba friends in the government and said, we, we, we got to get them out, Billy Bob. Uh, these, these carpetbaggers are taking over our real estate and jacking up the prices because they're moving into these towns. Property prices are going up and people can't afford to live there, blah, blah, blah. You know how that goes. It's all about that. You know, they get upset for a little bit. They, they, they fluffle their fetters. They pay off their local politicians. Uh, but in the end, it's like with Tesla fighting the good old boy car dealer net, uh, networks that wouldn't let them sell cars. You know, so they decided to sell them in malls and online direct because they, they didn't have to go through stupid dealers that rip you off and don't, you know, are just, are just shady little people. Um, Tesla's buying model is awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, so they win in the end, just like these crypto miners 
will win in the end. Otherwise, they will leave and go to a state that wants them. And uh, the power grid will show up in the other state because they will use a consistent level of energy and uh, test the grid and make the grid more, more uh, stable. Anyway, let's go. The exodus from mining companies will leave the state. Yeah, if you're in New York anyway, get the hell out. Get out of New York. The taxes alone will destroy you. Just what's the point in being there? Uh, get out. Go to a friendly state. But if you come to a friendly state, a free state, vote accordingly like the locals that made the state free. Don't come with the uh, horrible Northeast politics and ruin the other states that are doing well and being prosperous. That's all I got to say. Uh, and if you don't like it, suck. You know, you know pr prove me wrong, man. I can tell what's free and what's not or what's authoritarian. Even New York City had masks on little kids the other time. It's like, why? It's just crazy. Uh, just, they're just out of control. Uh, either they're ignorant or it's by design or they're just evil people. Um, I think they're mostly just evil. Anyway, let's go. Gem Mining CEO John Warren told Telegraph on June 8th that he and other miners now view New York as an unfriendly place where they uh, likely would not want to open up shop. Duh. Hey, Gem John, call me. Why in the hell are you in New York at all? One of the most tax unfriendly places. They hate business. They are socialist commies. They just want to ruin anything that's small business. Just get out, dude. I mean, even go to Pennsylvania, you know, go down the road. Get out of the Northeast. Uh, New York is not a place to do any kind of business. And if you're doing it, you're going to fail. What a horrible place to try to do business. Anyway. Oh, let's see. Miners won't consider going there after the ban became part of the discussion. Yeah, why? I don't get why go there. I'm still confused by why New York. When I see tech jobs in that, based out of New York City, I laugh. I go, I would know. What, what's wrong with you guys? You're losing all your money to taxation, you know? And it's just poorly run poorly run uh, government and they just going to give you a fee, you know, charge you stuff for permits, all this extra cost to do business in a crappy state. Uh, let's go. Environmental sustainability has been the heart of New York state government's ar argument against proof of work mining. The controversial mining ban bill would prohibit any new mining operations in the state for the next two years. It would also refuse the renewal of licenses to those who are already operating in the state unless it uses 100% renewable energy. Oh, dear God, it's like dealing with idiots. I'm so... I, I, come on, aren't you guys embarrassed for the people you elect? Holy crap. Um, Gem Mining recently com commented that the bill will not only miss its intended target but also discourage new renewable-based miners from doing business in the state. Warren told Cointelegraph that his operation is already 97% carbon neutral. So, Gem Mani, listen to, listen to yourself. You're wasting a lot of energy, <laughs> pun intended, a lot of time and energy and money to deal with your horrible government in New York. Why do that? You could be focused on building a better business in a friendly state, a free state. Get out of New York. I mean... A good leader knows when to call it quits and get out. I don't know why you're still sitting there, man. I'm just amazed by that. Come to Florida. But again, if you come to Florida, vote the right way, man. Otherwise, don't come to Florida or don't come to Texas. Uh, let's go. The regulatory environment in New York will not only halt their target, but will also likely discourage new renewable-based miners from doing business with the state. The mining moratorium recently passed in New York. We share our thoughts. All right, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Gem Mining, get out, dudes. I don't get you guys. Gem Mining is a South Carolina-based Bitcoin mining operation that contributes 1.92 exahash per second of hash power of the Bitcoin networks as of May. So if you're South Carolinians, what are you doing up north? You're Southern people. What are you doing in the north, man? God, I'm just shaking my head at the stupidity of going to New York. Similarly, the CEO of Sweden-based White Rock Management Digital Asset Miner uh, Andy Long also feels Bitcoin mining is moving in the right direction toward fossil free energy use. As he stated in email comments to the old Coin Telegraph, the company boasts 100% dependence of hydroelectric power for its 712 petahash, baby. Oh, I want some of that petahash uh, power contribution. Uh, let's see, he uh, echoed the idea that the POW mining freeze. 
uh, would not have the intended effect and sends the wrong message. Yeah, it's all, it's all by government. And again, I think if you follow the money, it's these uh, miners are coming and buying up old buildings or factories and towns, and they're driving up property values and prices, and people really don't like that, and they want them out. That's what it is. It's not about, I'm going to save the environment. It never is. That's just the cover story. It's all, it's all just BS, guys. Come on. Again, I always tell you, use your critical thinking skills. Look through all the BS and, uh, yeah, do your own research. Just because I'm telling you this, double-check what I'm telling you. Am I reading the right article? People say, well, the fact that you're telling me means you're doing the research by listening to me. No, dude. I could be telling you 2 plus 2 is 5. You could listen to it and go, 2 plus 2 is 5. Let me go look at that. No, that's wrong. He's wrong. I looked at his answer I th- or his, qu- his statement. I checked it out myself and realized his statement was wrong. I did my own research, and I know 2 plus 2 is 4. Now, for being tortured and beaten to death, then maybe two plus two is five. Uh, that's a different story. Uh, let's see. We that's uh, gaslighting, or no torture? Ah, whatever it is. Some Star Trek episode they did that, and it's based on real facts of uh, telling people there's five lights when there are actually four, and you're just trying to break the person. Uh, let's see. We want to see more states and local governments encourage investment rather than stifle growth with per, per with what with prescriptive regulations that would likely be thin. Uh, be the thin end of the wedge. Whatever. Get out of New York. Why fight the idiots? Come on. You got an installed governor who was not elected, and she has marching orders from God knows you can guess, and uh, just to destroy businesses and anything, uh, anything prosperous. I don't get it. Uh, let's see. They're gonna have a huge welfare state, like Maryland. Maryland's a one big welfare state. Uh, there's one main income earner, which is the federal government, DoD. And all the workers there are taxed out the bunghole. And those taxes go to supply 90% of the people that don't work all day, uh, sit home and just collect welfare checks. It's amazing. Uh, you know, Maryland is very socialist. A socialist state, People's Republic of Maryland, they call it. And New York is right up there. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. The, uh, I believe the contributions from other states would continue to grow whether the moratorium comes into effect or not. Adding that, it would probably not cause a domino effect of other bans except that how New York goes, Cali goes. Oh, don't even be in California either. Come on, man. Why are people so stupid? Read the sign of the times. Get out of these horribly run blue states, man. They're just going to destroy your business and give you grief. Uh, He added that even installed Governor Hachal signs the moratorium into law. Even if she does, New York's hash power would drop anyway as Kentucky, North Carolina, Texas, and other states add new incentives for money. Yeah, they, they are well-run states. They get it. They are uh, capitalists. They are businessmen. They see the benefit of crypto mining. And uh, they have people that actually probably have in, uh, some intelligence to them versus the old-school hack politicians that were uh, you know, installed and not elected and just have no idea what they're doing. They're just being paid off. What you're seeing throughout a country is a bipartisan support of mining and the jobs that they provide. They add stability to the power grid as well. But yeah, you can present these facts to the New York government, and they don't care. They don't know facts. All they know is which guy is going to pay me the most money to vote the right way. Uh, yeah, and that's corruption. That's normal. That's just expected. New York is already losing its competition with states such as Kentucky, Georgia, for miners. Georgia is the USA's top state for hash power. Fortune reported in February that miners may be flocking there for the below average cost of electricity and the opportunity to offset their emissions with renewable credits. Uh, Georgia produces 35.6% of its electricity from nuclear and renewable sources. I love, I love me some nuclear energy, baby. That's the way to go, but people are so afraid of it. But uh, that's old technology. The newest technology is I'm just put up freaking nuke power plants, guys. Let's get with the program. Uh, Kentucky's governor signed into law last March a tax incentive for Bitcoin miners who set up shop and help support the state's fledgling the renewable energy infrastructure. Kentucky has surpassed New York's hash power for uh, third place in the union, but produces only 6.6% of its electricity from renewable source, uh, sources. English hard. Uh, let's see. Let's wrap this puppy up, guys. Coming into the long, uh, the, what do you call it? I don't know. Rounding the plate for home. Anyway, the controversial mining bill is currently sitting on the desk of installed New York Governor Kathy Hacha. Uh, who has yet to public commit to signing the bill. Instead, she noted that her team will be looking very closely 
at the proposal over the next few months. It's like if you're an idiot looking at a math equation, you're still an idiot. You're not going to figure it out. I mean, these people are just like, again, it's corruption. Whoever has the most uh, popular lobbyist and uh, pays the most of these fools, they'll vote accordingly. And it's all, again, if you, if you really deep, dig deep, it's all probably over property values and uh, people buying up buildings that some, the local Bubba guy wanted to buy. And uh, they just got upset and called their Billy Bob friend up in Albany and paid him a few thousand bucks and blah, blah, blah. This is how it all started. Uh, anyway, there you go. A little update on the old New York. I'd say, guys, if you are, if you are these two fools that decide to open business in New York State, you can just cut your losses, Warren. Gem mining, get out. And was there another dude on this article? Uh, Gem mining, get the hell out of New York and move back down south to Georgia, South Carolina, Florida, Texas, where they want you. And uh, go forth, do great things. Keep doing that pow. Pow, pow, pow. Proof of mining. Yeah, all right. That's all I got. I thought it was an interesting article. Mining-wise, I'm just still mining. Profitability is going way down. And, uh, yeah, we'll see how far we get into this POS on Ethereum. And we'll dump all the Ethereum we have because it's going to go to zero. All right. I'll talk to you later. I'm out. Bye-bye. 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 I'm out, guys. Talk to you later. I just can't find the off button here. Hold on.